Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming uh, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create your own races and your own routes with the new added route create feature in Forza Horizon 4. Now it's an update we've been waiting for for quite a while now, obviously we're, we all thought we were going to be there at the beginning of the game but it wasn't, uh, but now it has been added and it's just like Midnight Club 3 in some respects. Uh, it's a fantastic new feature to be honest uh, and obviously I'm really excited to get used and I'm sure you guys are too, uh, but this is just going to be a simple guide slash tutorial on how to use the route creator now as you can see I started off with a random race it can be whichever one you want but I knew that I wanted to do it around the motorway area so I chose a random cross-country event and it doesn't have to be cross-country it could be whichever one you want um, but I chose one right next to the motorway now you start off at the starting grid of that race so you can only do it from set races you can't do it from scratch uh, and then basically you're sort of off on your own and you go and create your own route now in order to do so you place checkpoints as you go along your route by pressing the X button which will obviously then place a checkpoint and as you just saw uh, you can widen them and move them around a little bit to your sort of to your liking really uh, now I'm showing you first of all how to do a circuit, circuit race as you just saw there um, I'll show you how to do a sprint race in a minute but in order to do a circuit race you have to sort of go back on yourself and go back to the starting point where you began from uh, and then it will automatically stop and it will have created a circuit race you will then be asked to do the race uh, against random driver tiles doesn't matter where you finish or anything like that you won't receive any rewards now the important part comes after that where you have to basically save it as a blueprint otherwise you will pretty much lose that race now you can then select the number of wrap laps obviously because I set it as um, a, a circuit race you can change it from cross country to uh, road racing or anything like that obviously if you want to level up a certain one of those skills um, you can uh, change it to your liking again uh, then it will ask you to do the actual blueprinted race which is where you start earning credits and XP to figure out if that race you know is what you want it to be if it's a big XP race or not now what I'm going to show you next is how to do a sprint race, the exact same way you find a race, uh, you go over to create route and then you start creating your own route. So as you can see again I'm using the motorway and again it doesn't matter what car you're doing this in, uh, obviously a fast one is better because it means you can get the route done quicker but it's entirely down to yourselves which sort of car you use. Now as you can see here I'm widening the waypoints to go across or span as far across the motorway as they can go but there is a limit they can't go sort of miles long kind of thing now the good thing about this race creator is you can amend it to your own liking and you can get friends to join in but you can obviously put in secret little shortcuts to get to certain waypoints that they don't know about sort of cheat it in a bit way like that now as you can see here I'll press the start button for the sprint race uh, and you do finish there make that the finishing point so instead of returning back on yourself back to the starting point which is here obviously created at the end of the motorway there and that's where you finish it and that's how you get sprint race so there's only two types of races sprint and circuit but you can do it under cross country or road racing or drag racing or dirt racing series whichever you want so like i said as you can see here you then save the route name it whatever you want to call it and it will show you the route on the map in the background and the distance of it so the bigger the route you know you can go and make a goliath track that's what i'm going to do a goliath 2.0 if you will um set it to a certain number of laps and obviously reap in the rewards uh, some of them you can make really quick and easy races and I'm going to show you guys a guide on a very quick and easy race that you can sort of cheat um, to get very very good amount of credits and XP anyway guys I hope this helped you out and I hope you found it useful if it did don't forget to say so in the comments and drop a like and subscribe for more videos just like this as I will be bringing out a ton more with all these new features showing you guys some very good hints and tips for quick and easy races to basically get really good XP and credit rewards. Anyway, massive thank you for your support and I hope you enjoyed.